the actual qualifying match up next, but we're going to be jumping straight into Tesla against Drunken Boy. That's going to be a very... And I have no mousepad to observe. Oh, really? You want to have my mousepad? Sure. For a split second, as uh, we're just going to focus on your game for now. I like this game a lot, though. Tesla is a Protoss that I've been uh, familiar with for a long time. Is very often over 6,000. Every now and then he does drop below 6,000. Uh, but he's just one of those... You know, calling him an up-and-comer is maybe not totally right since he's been around for a while, but he's just a very solid Protoss that uh, provides well, very... What's a solid Protoss? Like, uh, you know, above 6k MMR Protoss. Yeah, but I mean, like, stylistically, right? Yes, uh, that too. He's not that cheesy. Uh, he's a tiny bit maybe like Mechanic, but I wouldn't put the emphasis that much on So, like, on what, Phoenix at the episode? Yeah, he's, he's definitely a, a Phoenix player. He likes his Phoenixes. Every now and then you might see something crazy out of him, like Void Race, but... Uh, he's also a guy that will look at stats and be like, okay, this is how I want to play against the Terran, you know, he's he's not that wild. Meanwhile, Drunken Boy is a very old school player that I always feel never truly reached his true potential. Because I really feel that Drunken Boy is an excellent Terran yeah. that should always be like top 10 NA. But he's been taking some breaks here and there, and every now and then he slows down. And Drunken Boy was actually really close to making it through the ladder. I think he was like 50 points away from the 8th the place. You know, in the old days, when I still casted for NASL together with Mr. Bitter, there was one classic TVT in the North American scene that I always ended up casting. And it happened like six times in, you know, uh, like a couple months period time. And that was between Drunken Boy and Neep. <laughs> Those two NA youngsters, Todd. Two Terrans back then. Dropping it out as Tesla is going to go for a pylon rush, but this is not going to be successful at all. The probe is going to get picked off. And with yeah, the four adapt Marines, overextended. Yeah. He should have just kited a little bit more, I think. Not tank the SCVs either. Like, these pylons are super far away. Yeah, it's not going to do Steve anything. Leave them alone. Cancel that bunker and go back. I really would let... Uh, I, I wouldn't let these finish. Well, he's going to let one finish. He's going to get an SCV in a bunker. And maybe one depot. All right. Yeah. That is something. But he's definitely not going to get the reactor. And the first Cyclone is out already. Gets the lock on immediately on the Mothership Core. I'm going to love that. Can this pilot even shoot anything at this point? I don't think so. Uh, no high ground vision. He's going to overcharge it again. Yeah, he is. Might have been a bit able, uh, better to save this, no? The overcharge? Yeah, and then pull yeah. back. Because now what does this do? Like, sure, it prevents him from shooting it down for a second. It prevents a couple of uh, STVs from going down the ramp. I guess. There isn't that much oversaturation yeah. going on anyways. In the meantime, Tesla yeah. with the Robo Immortal being pumped out. Worker-wise, it looks all right for Tesla, but the big problem whenever you open up like this is that your tech is going to be delayed for quite some time. Is there a game zone? I wasn't I hearing any. You know what? Tune it up, Todd. Turn up oh! the volume. Why was it on zero? What well, was the? I think it's 45, 45 35. Yes. What? Yeah, your music is still muted as well, but that's okay. You know what? Let's just do everything for once, and then <laughs> we don't have to do it again. Boom. Perfect. Let's see how he's going to be able to deal with the counter-aggression from uh, Drunken Boy. Obviously, this one Immortal is going to take care of that Cyclone immediately. Big problem is going to be that Liberated that we see flying across the map, because the stock account is incredibly low at this point. So, it's important for Tesla that he doesn't end up losing too many workers against the Liberated. And the disrupted drop here could uh, be one of the things that lands uh, some, I guess, some good economic damage for Tesla, one of the only things, unless you go for depths, but that's a lot more of a commitment. And he doesn't want to play like that. I like this. A little uh, Immortal defensively. And then disrupt the drop. I don't think he's going to be dropping the Immortal, even though you never know. These NA players, man, they can be mm. kind of wild. They can be. Uh, I believe there was an overcharge activated to deal with the Liberator, right? Actually, these stalkers have chased it down. Liberator only got a single kill so far. So that is still a pretty decent advantage when it comes to the workers. The only thing that kind of scares me for Tesla is that he doesn't didn't go up to three bases, Todd. Now, once again, stalkers, uh, okay, stalkers are going to show up in time. Yep. Good job there. I think that Drunken Boy could have technically focused probes there. So he maybe could have picked up one or two probes. But yeah. then we're being very nitpicky. But these well, are, that's these what are we're the here guys for, though. Yeah, and, but these are the players that we can be a little harder on because these are not your, you know, casual players. Drunken Boy is a player that's been around for a long time, even played in WCS all the way back in like 2014, 2015, and he's just a very talented Terran player. And uh, Tesla, well, Tesla is a very solid Protoss. Every now and then he streams as well, very fun little stream. Disrupt the oh shot! My God. 
How much did you get? Like two, three SUVs and the mule? It looked like three to me. The mule is always nice to get, even if it's like about to expire, as long as it's still, you know, about to bring back minerals. It's still uh, some income that you're going to be able to deny him quite nicely. This is going to be annoying for Drunken Boy. I'm curious to see how he's going to deal with it. Well, actually, no, it's up there. Here we go again. Oh, I love this. Instead of trying to get them around here, he went there where he knew Drunken Boy wouldn't be moving. The Disruptor is already putting in some good work. And behind this, we've got second more Disruptors Robo. being made. Second Robo. You can go straight into Colossus and blink. Build otherwise. Like, you were saying this guy is solid, but he's looking quite good. Mm -hmm. Everything is looking really solid so far. He did take quite a break from uh, producing probes, though. Yeah. He was producing a lot of stalkers for a while and now went up to three bases. Oh, I missed that. My bad. So I think it could have been a tiny bit higher, but wow, this, I mean, the numbers speak for itself, right? It's 16, 16 SUVs. SUVs. I'm surprised that we don't see a Viking. I know a Vikings ain't that fast and it's hard to catch up with uh, a War Prism, but I still think that a single Viking would have been nice here for Drunken Boy. Yeah. Just to put some constant damage on this War Prism. Oh God, I almost flew a little bit too far. Oh, whoo! Gets the detonation onto that tank and a bunch of bio as well, perfectly here. Dude, gotta be careful though, don't want to end up losing your prism. Prisms are Look at the medevac, it's boosting Todd, but oh, the medevac. The Nathania is so Oh, the wipe, the missile oh. turret, the missile turret. Okay, got it. <laughs> Todd. <laughs> Todd it's mate! Okay. Mate, I panic you, okay. You can no, be, you no, can the, it's like at the, I'm at the edge of the. Like, the sensitivity <laughs> is different. Did the missile turret get the kill? Can you click on the missile turret? No, it was like a units that were there. Okay. They were like perched on that. So even though that's very nice for Drunken Boy, that doesn't mean that he's suddenly winning this game. Yeah. He's going to have to do quite a bit more. I, I said uh, in the beginning of the game that Tesla doesn't play that much like Mechanic. Well, this could have been a Mechanic game, that's for sure. He has a lot of Link Stalkers and a couple of Disruptors oh, he, in the mix. He hit them, I guess, to save the shots. He can go on that wall, actually. Blow that up. There are tanks there as well. You've got to be careful. Actually, no Disruptor died still. Oh, my God. Oh! Oof. That, could have been that was like minimum yeah. damage somehow. And he's still making disruptors. Like usually you see three being made, and then behind that, Colossus, right? But he's still making more and going to charge as well. Charge, Stalkers, Double Forge. My man. My man, Rob. The problem is that Taranus already has three bases, so just Zealots and Stalkers are in the end not going to cut is it. Is his name Rob? Yep. Okay, yeah. so he's the one who had me friend. <laughs> yeah, he sometimes uh, plays on the, I think, an account called Rob as well, or his stream is Rob. Uh, anyway, we are, uh, yeah, I think his uh, Twitch account is Rob. Because yeah. I saw someone adding me friend just before this started. I was like, who is this? And then I saw Rob. But obviously, like, I don't know, you know, I'm going to decline. <laughs> yeah, he, he has an awesome last name. Do you know his last name? No. Plata. <laughs> Like, you know, that, is that like Argentinian or something? Yeah, it's, it's like, uh, well, some sort of Spanish for money, you know, uh, like from in Narcos. <laughs> Plata, I love it. I love Tesla, he's a great guy, great player as well. But I, I feel like this game has been slipping away from him a tiny bit. I love this start, and I thought that the harass with War Prism and the Disruptor was excellent. Uh oh, these Disruptors are very exposed, though. That's two Disruptors for free. I just feel like it's going to become harder and harder for him to take good fights. Unless he somehow gets the dream detonations. He does have a lot of stalkers, though. So he's going to be able to uh, pick up those two tanks. Where is Drunken Boy going to go? Todd, these four medifacts and all these bio units, they are I mean, surrounded by damage. stalkers. Yeah, but the overcharge was not close. He's going to go for straight for the pylons, knowing that there could be a danger. Been oversteaming quite a bit. Uh, going to the main? No, he's going to walk, but he's going to get surrounded. And not that many Marauders uh, He's left. just trying to get the base straight that he can with this. Uh, does he get the right one? <laughs> the price is right. He got the empty one. No the price is fortune. always right, <laughs> but the Medivac is always empty when you snipe it as well. And the one took a lot of damage. But I gotta love the way that Drunken Boy has been playing this. He's probably not that worried about the composition that he saw Tesla walking around with. It's like, okay, you're incredibly stalker heavy and you have four or five disruptors, well, that's very good if my army is small. But if I'm just going to sit back for a while and I'm going to go up to 160, 170, 180 supply, good luck fighting my army with stalker disruptor because I don't think that's going to cut it. Unless you just have like mechanic like disruptor control. It's going to be very hard, especially with a couple of liberators as well. The Metavax have turned around, Todd, even though those units are still so overstimmed, like you said. So one swipe, one kill. Stalker's going to get the Metavax. No upgrades. Well, yes, possible. You should rub that wall here, really. Oh, there is a tank shooting. That's why he pulled back. I was like, why? He can shoot again. Just blow up this tree. 
Oh, he's gonna repair as well. That's gonna be costly if he keeps on using disruptors to try and blow that up. What a sick style. I can't believe he's not going Colossus. Double Robo and yeah. Robo Bay. Like, I felt after like the initial uh, disruptor drop, uh, I totally agree with you. I think especially with the stalkers he had already, it was a pretty sweet moment to just start pumping Colossus out two at a time. Yeah. And then eventually, you know, get your fourth base. And Drunken Boy is playing a conventional as well. He's making a lot of tanks. He wants to play like, it feels like a Wings of Liberty esque style, right? Tanks plus Bio and Medivacs. Yeah, but he has the Liberators too. I, I think the tanks do quite well against the Stalkers. I mean, ever since the tanks got the buff, they actually do damage to Stalkers these days. And it's just very hard for Stalker Disruptor to get close enough. A couple of Disruptor shots do go forward. Oh! Oh my god. Well, okay, in the end, we just see one big hit. I hate casting uh, Disruptors against big oh. Bio Ball stuff. I just do it in control. <laughs> up, 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 up. Maynard was casting some games on his stream yesterday. I joined. I was like, oh, oh, oh. so it and he said it. He knows. Oh. oh my god. Woo! That was killed at the last second. Almost all the disruptors are down, actually. So many stalkers, though. Yeah, against tanks and motors. Yeah. I don't know, Kev. I mean, it looked like Tesla had way more, but like you said, against all these tanks now, Liberator is going to siege up on top of this army, too. Where is the bio? We just need a couple of bio units. A uh, double liberated setup there is very sweet. That pushes out a lot of damage and Drunken Boy will hold. How many Stalkers have died in this game? It must be like 40 or something, right? 47. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> Especially like it's not something you can replenish easily. No. They are quite expendable, uh, non-expendable. Yeah, Stalkers are a lot more expensive than a lot of people think. They always think yeah. like, Herpy, there are Protoss warping, 12 Stalkers. Cost, doesn't cost anything, but if you lose 20 Stalkers in a game, you're going to feel it. Oh, your what do you sound like a cartoon? Because <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how people see Protoss, you know. It's always a cartoony character pressing one button on the keyboard. I think those days are gone, though, Todd. At Wings, sure, they were allowed to make fun of us. At Hot, well, a tiny bit, maybe. But in Legacy, say a lot, but Protoss definitely became a lot more dynamic oh and God. a lot more difficult to These play. tanks, man. Look at this. The Zealots are going to do a lot better. I might be able to get both tanks. Because not reacting. I'm surprised that Drunken Boy, well, maybe he felt like he didn't have enough bio, but then he didn't decide to counter. Because he should know that whenever you defend against that many Stalkers, that Protoss is going to have a hard time replacing that army. He's looking to try and counter drop there, but even like that middle line could be, oh my god, actually, like having this many pylons and Mothership Call there is going to be great too. In before two Marauders kill all the pylons. Colossus dead into High Templar, so that took some time, but he's finally going to it. He doesn't have thermal lens yet. He actually just. Drunken Boy keeps over steaming. I don't know why they scan there for him to go forward so uh, quick. I don't like this fight that much for Tesla. Actually, yeah, he doesn't have that many. Well, he does get on top of the tank. Kill the Liberator. Took care of the Liberator. So maybe it's not that bad. But few bio units remaining, and these Colossus are not your old Colossus. They're actually struggling against this one Marauder and a couple of Marines. The Archon falls, and uh, there you have it. Drunken Boy does clean up this army, and he's got the double drop in the main. Wow, what an awesome game by Drunken Boy. And a game where you did feel that Tesla was in the driver's seat, but now with all this stack on the way, Todd, maybe overcommitting a little bit in the middle. Yeah. Had Thermal Lens on the way, 3-3 three, three upgrades on the way, Storm on the way. Maybe he shouldn't have moved out there. I think too many stalkers were made, and also Tesla shouldn't have attacked into the fourth phase the way he did. But other than that, still a pretty darn good game out of him. Looks like Drunken Boy might be able to win this one. Yeah, I think losing those four Colossus, that's going to make it so hard to get a real army again. And the army supply thought it never lies. A wise man once told me, told me to look at it. Be looking at it. 98 against 39. That's kind of an unfair fight. There might be one storm available soon. Now he's gonna settle for a feedback instead. A couple of stalkers blink into a liberation zone, and that's when you know it is the beginning of the end. Not enough firepower in this Protoss army. Disruptor. Wow. Good split there by Drunk. Well, yeah. Wasn't even really much of a split. <laughs> Rob says G T T and G G. Fun game. That was a really fun game. Yeah. I enjoyed that game. I actually don't have another game, Todd. I think uh, let's let's check I think real quick. You can join a different one, right? Mm -hmm. I might join uh, some Pogue Bunny game, or we can also do. Yeah, all. actually, you can join Jon Snow Pogue Bunny. Yep. All right, I'll let them know. Which is going to be a uh, one qualifying match, one quarterfinals. Oh, really? That's a yeah. decided match already. <laughs> wow. Damn. These guys went quick on this side of the bracket. <laughs> cool. No, I definitely want to be. Oh no, it's one. potential. Actually, because Jon Snow isn't there. Yeah, yet. Jon Snow is still playing against the Riddler right now. It's Jon Snow, Todd. I didn't see the potential. People don't know. 
People think that Jon Snow doesn't know anything, but I've played quite a few times against him. And that man knows how to drop some Zerglings and Banelings in your mineral line stuff. If you play Protoss, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough evening in general when you, you go up against Jon Snow. Remember, by the way, the winner of Drunken Boy Tesla will play Scarlet in a qualifying mm. match. That's yeah, we should sick. definitely show that yeah. as well. We'll just show everything, you know what? The passion. Put this uh, match is on hold. You, they can say a lot about us, Todd, but the passion is always there. Ready? I think this is game two. Uh, they invited me. You know what? Tesla he may have lost the game, but I did him friends, so yeah. it's a win. No, he's, he's, <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's a really fr uh, friendly guy. You'll like him. He's very active on Twitch, too. He's somebody that's kind of always lurking in some of the streams. If you're friends with somebody, you always get a message, right? Like, your friend is also watching this stream. Well, Rob is watching a lot. <laughs> oh, you John as well? Yeah, they invited me. I don't think Pogba against Jon Snow is about to start though. Oh, okay. but I, I can always leave. Don't worry. Yeah, I'll. T I'll. Okay, you cast for a bit. I'll talk to you. All right. <laughs> right I'll, I'll organize things. All right, guys. Here we go. Game two is live. We're gonna load into Ascension to Ire over here on the left top side of this large green. Not quite beautiful map. Looking at the main base of our Canadian Terran, it is a drunken boy. One of those NA Terrans has been around for a long time. In 2013, I absolutely hated playing against this man. I always thought he was so good. I was like, oh, you know what's coming. The drops come from every angle. No regret, he's out, by the way. Wow, really? Who did he lose to? FZ. I don't know if that's the walkover Maybe or that's or a walkover, yeah. But that sounds unlikely. No regrets, pretty good. Over here on the right bottom side, we're looking in the main base of the man with the badass last name, called Plata. It is Tesla. Robbie, representing a Sloth Esports Club. How much do you know about Sloth Esports? Like, I saw so many of them yeah. at uh, tournaments these days, like in Austin and stuff. Pog Bunny is in, uh, Pog Bunny is with them, or at least was. Well, I think he's pretty like sure he still is, and game yeah, time I, as well. I want insider stories. No, I don't what know much. What was their backgrounds? Uh, yeah, I've never met anybody from the management team. It's kind of a newer, uh, yeah. you know, last year. But I feel like they're taking over because I see them everywhere. Yeah, no, they've <laughs> definitely recruited very good North American players. Yeah. They don't have, like, you know, your, the, the big, big guys. But when it comes to the North American scene, they picked up pretty much the strongest talent. But it's really nice. It's awesome to see the North American scene kind of enter, like, a second yeah, life. Yeah. You know, in the old days, you obviously had EG and, you know, Team Liquid had a bunch of Americans. But these days, I really feel like Psystorm Gaming, incredibly active. Dust Gaming has even picked up some really strong players and always had a few strong North Americans. And now to see uh, Sloth Esports being pretty active as well. That's just awesome. Yeah, they've got BioEyes, Game Time. Dolan as well. Mac Monroe. <laughs> We've got a rival for M. Canning. <laughs> Pog Bunny, Raze, and Tesla. Even Raze, actually, I've seen yeah. in uh, some He's of these tournaments. Go, well, go Raze is very strong. Far and far. There's a couple of those North American Terrans that are all kind of flying under the radar, and you really need to play the game a lot to take a close look at the GM ladder to be familiar with them. But guys like Jay have uh, Cuddle Bear, uh, Raze, they're excellent players. Pog Bunny is a little more well known, but obviously falls into that category as well. And I'd say Drunken Boy is more of an old school name. Open up with a Reaper. Now this is pretty much the biggest anti-Reaper map there is. There is no way to get into the main, bane, main base unless you go past this little entrance and then somehow hop in. Even though like, I somehow saw Beyond, Beyond's clip winning a game with a Reaper on this map. Beyond is stupid though. He's stupid. <laughs> stupid goods. Stupid good is what he is. Once and again! again. Another attempt here at the pylon rush from Tesla. I really wonder last game, like, what's the thought be behind going for so many disruptors? Like, it feels like after three, you know, it becomes something almost like special slash crazy. So I wonder if Tesla is able to look back and be like, oh, maybe I really should have gone Colossus there behind this. Or if it was actually like the strike, Mass Talkers, Disruptor, which I think can be really strong against the overly passive Terran, because then he's not counter dropping, he's staying at home. In which case, you just have a ton of Stalkers and Disruptors to make something happen with. And then eventually you break him. I thought he saw the mine being burrowed, because he had vision there for sure, but he's still going to run the Adept in range. The Adept has just fallen. At least he's going to get both depots this time, and I feel like one or two more SPVs than the last time as well. The follow-up is different too, though, Todd. Yeah. It's a Stargate. And you're right, by the way, but that's kind of an American thing, right? Like, the American Protoss, especially I'm kidding, they love making a crazy amount of Disruptors. You know, you see six, seven, eight Disruptors, with a silly amount of Blink Stalkers, and it can be hard to play against. Oops, oops. <laughs> no worries. I meant to message the referee. 
Just, just when they started to respect you. Yeah, in before, yeah. they totally tilt. I'm trying to figure out, because I got a message before we entered this, so I wanted to know what was happening. I think he wanted to know what games we want exactly up next. It's going to be important for uh, Tesla that he deals with this Medivac that's flying to the other side of the map, because there's a Widow Mine in the mix, and that Robo is quite late, so that Mine could potentially shoot twice. Whoa. Cloak Benches as well. Seen it a tiny bit more often lately, but... We talked about it earlier. <laughs> 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 the Cloak Bench here against no detection, but in this case, there's already the Oracle out. Oh, that Mine! Wow, good job there. Good reaction there, pulling a couple of the probes, making sure that that Mine won't barrel. The Marines might be... There's not to much to fight this, yeah. It's six Marines. The Oracle is... With the Medivac about to... Oh my god, he, he lost the go Oracle? Out. He lost he? the Oracle. Oh yeah, there was a Widow Mine in the main... Uh, Natural uh, main middle line. That's bad, actually. Yeah. But he saw. Wait, well, he saw the stop off with the tech lab. But I, I'm not sure. Like, actually, yeah, he can still see if he looks that uh, something was researching, mm -hmm. but barely. Could also be that he thinks he might be getting tricked. You know, that there's actually no clock bench here. Yeah. I mean, there is a raven. robo, right? Oh, he's not an observer. Okay. Yeah. Should be fine. Then again, like we've seen, observers fly across the map and probes dying left and right in this situation at times. Cyclone is going to take control of the Zelda Watchtower, which I like a lot. So that gives you an idea of where these Protoss units are. He's going to spot that these micro? micro and adapts against Cyclones. Oh, yeah, really like three this. Isn't, well, Shade I said forward. three is enough. I don't know, man. Shade forward. The Phoenix. Catch him for sure. Okay, a couple more adapts are going to show up. Oh, the Cyclone at the end is <laughs> going to get out of there. But obviously, as soon as the Shade Easy, finished. Easy. Yeah, yeah. Really? No, it's going to fall. I Phoenix know, okay. is going to help as well. But now everything is out of position. The Phoenix is out of position, so maybe this Cloak Banshee thought south side of the map. Where's the Observer? Oh, it's in the middle of the map. Oh my god. Well, you said it. You jinxed him. You jinxed my boy, Roby Plata. This is hey, gonna be I'm very, a caster, all right? Painful. I talked about possibilities. <laughs> I don't have magical powers. That's what I toast is always said. Ah, this is painful, man. He's not even putting the work. He's just focusing on the attack. He's going to shade. He just doesn't have enough. Observer about to come out, but that bench he went on the rain page already. Oh my god. 17 workers went down. A new bench is going to show up in the natural as well, so things will go from bad to worse. Of course, the Phoenix and the Stalker should be able to take care of it, but not pulling the probes, I think, was a pretty big mistake. I have to say that I sometimes did this in the past as well. I was like, ah, oh, you know, I almost have detection. I'm just going to let them mine, so at least I won't lose the mining yeah. time. Almost is the word. Yeah. But before you know it, you lose a ridiculous amount of work as 22 probes have gone down. And obviously, these, this is not Zerg, Todd. You can't just morph seven probes at once. You're going to build them one by one. The third next is almost done, so he's going to be able to produce three at a time. But it's still going to take a while for uh, Tesla before he can recover from all that economic damage he just took. Double forge again, but he's going glaives here. Probably to go for a ton of adepts to work with his phoenixes. Oh, do we don't mind? Woo. All right, mostly gets one single uh, Phoenix. I think that Tesla probably feels that he was pretty far behind in game number one, which explains the TT smiley. And yeah. I think it put him on tilt a tiny bit. I think he's, he's a little upset with himself that he lost game number one, that he wasn't able to seal the deal after being in a pretty sweet position. Because this game, I just feel like it's turning into a disaster. And at this point, even the third base there, like from Tesla, is like, it's not like a saving grace. Drunken Boy knows about it, he's on five raxes, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna wanna push here real soon with uh, more bio than a Protoss should be able to handle, given the starts and uh, how it went so far. He starts with Templar Archives even before charge begins here. Yeah, maybe this feels like he's gonna need a storm or two. And Tesla is still only on three gates, by the way. Where, where, where is the explosion? <laughs> Let me explode you all the gate. He needs at least three or four more. It's hard to build all these gateways after you lose that many workers, yeah. right? Like normally when you're if broke. You, yeah. But then you shouldn't expand. You should have done maybe something drastic like not glaives and go straight into storm and then later you get charged without the double forge, only one forge. Yeah, it feels like Tesla is doing a little bit of everything. But I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to do one thing properly because he just yeah. doesn't have the income for it. He is finally up in workers again though. He's up five workers. Oh now. storm starts. There it is. How is he supposed to buy time against this? Because Drunken Boy surely wants to attack. It's actually a very difficult army to control as well when you have like Adept, Phoenix, and High Templars. 
two. No, you, you put can... everything on one and storm on two, right? Or item plus on two. Yeah, but like you want a shade as well, and phoenixes are useless. Yeah. If you don't actually actively control them, unless you want to use the phoenix to kill the medifacts, but that takes a very. So long then you time. put everything on one, but then you micro like separately in the fight. Yeah, it's as just. You can. Uh, I think it's tricky because all those units are a lot better when you use their abilities, especially high templars. But obviously, storm's gonna finish soon, but he hasn't walked in a high templar, which he's gonna need against this. More gateways were made, but they're still not being morphed. He's making two now. He could feedback. I think feedback is almost like an insta kill on maybe one or two of those medifacts. And he's going to morph them into an Archon instead. And Drunken Boy is going to steam forward. The Adepts are uh, very, very, very exposed. The Archon is going to fall. Phoenix is going to show up now. Widowmind Splash does a little bit of damage to the medifacts, but there is too much firepower in this Terran army. And I think that's all she wrote for Tesla. As Drunken Boy will advance to the next round. Game number one was uh, excellent, very exciting, fun game. Unfortunately, game number two a little bit more one-sided. Losing the Oracle to the Widow Mine really hurt. Then Observer being out of position against the Cloak Banshees, that was incredibly painful. And as a Protoss, it's very, very hard to bounce back at any race. I mean, as a Zerg, as a Terran as well. Losing 22 workers. Ay, 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 thought something else has to be going very well for you in the game yeah. to recover from that. And Drunken Bow will go up against Scarlet then. A very important match that will send the winner uh, towards this weekend's m games and matches. Meanwhile, Rob uh, sent me a message. He said, like, oh, I play terrible. I think game number one, he didn't play terrible. I think that was a fun, excellent game. But uh, game number two definitely wasn't his game. But, you know, that, that happens. Things fall apart in StarCraft. Dolan beat Puck. Wow. Well, you so asked which me. ones do you want to do? Like, uh, I guess Poke Bunny against Jon Snow is on you. Mm -hmm. And then I'll join Drunken Boy Scarlet. And then we can save Dolan against uh, Penabiami for after, or? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's nice for Dolan. Dolan is one of those Terrans as well in the North American scene that isn't that well known. But he stayed uh, quite some time at the Root Gaming House in Southern California. I met him there once as well. Seemed like a very nice guy. He used to proxy a lot, and then he kind of forced himself to play macro games. And it seems like it has paid off. As Beating Puck in this uh, qualifier, that's pretty impressive, Todd. I did not expect that. Even though I do know Dolan, no, he's a pretty good player, but Puck normally is the next level. So, <laughs> meanwhile, Drunken Boy is asking if Scarlet is here. Scarlet says, Zzz. maybe she's tired, I don't know. Uh, so, which game should I try to get into first, Todd? John uh, I'm trying to figure out, like, neither of the ones that you could do is available. So, maybe you should do Drunken Boy Scarlet first. Sure. And then we hold another. All right, well, that series should start within like a minute or so. We don't have any other game to jump into, so yeah. let's just head to a very small break. And after that, we'll be back with Scarlet versus Drunken Boy. Let's end this thing once and for all.